Hello and welcome to this drive from Kilpusjavi to Kaltekaino in Lapland and Finnmark. My name is Emma and I will be your guide for this drive. We will have both written and spoken information about the places that we are visiting and you can also find a written guide at thehiddennorth.com. We are currently in Kilpusjavi, which is a town in northern Finland. The population is around 110 people and it's built around the highway that runs through it. The Sami have been coming here since the 8th century, but permanent settlement didn't occur until 1915. The first building built was tourist accommodation. Kilpusjavi has a school and the northernmost research point for the University of Helsinki. There is a hotel and some tourist attractions in the area. For example, you can visit the point uh, where Sweden, Finland and Norway meet. Kilpusjavi is also a very popular place to observe the northern lights. It is one of the coldest regions in Finland. So we will see reindeer on the road up ahead, which is very common when you're driving through this part of the wild. It means that you always have to be attentive. There they are on the front and left hand side. But anyway, sit back, relax. I will come back with some audio overviews in a little while.
once again, I hope you're enjoying this drive through Finland. I'm just back to tell you a little bit about Karasivantu, which is a small village across the Swedish border. So there is a Swedish version on the other side of the river and it is possible for you to cross into Sweden if you just want to have lunch or just take some photos. The area is traditionally Finnish and Sami speaking. After the Finnish war in 1809, the border was drawn for political reasons, not cultural reasons. The first buildings were built uh, as religious buildings for the Sami people. In the village, it has everything you would expect, a petrol station, hotel and a shop.
So we have made it all the way back into Norway, and now we're in the final municipality for the day, which is Kautokaino. So Kautokaino is one of the two cultural centers of the northern Sami people. The other one is Karashok. The coat of arms represents a lavu, which is still in use by reindeer herders who follow their herds according to the season. 90% of the population in this municipality speak a Sami language as their first language. In 1852, Kautokaino was the site of a Sami uprising against representatives of the Norwegian authorities. This was one of the few violent reactions by the Sami and against the exploitation policies of the Norwegian government. It is the only known confrontation between the Sami and the Norwegians that resulted in the loss of human lives. Kautokaino is different from other municipalities in Finnmark because more than 50% of the population is younger than 30 years old. This is due to a number of schools in the area, uh, the Sami High School, and then there's also a reindeer herding school. The main industries in Kautokaino are reindeer herding, the theatre film industry, and the public education system. The Sami Theatre here is the National Sami Theatre and plays an important role in making Sami history and cultural visible. One of the most famous people from Kautokaino is Niels Galp, a very famous film director who has been nominated for an Academy Award. Kautokaino is also one of the coldest places in the Nordics. It has a sub-Arctic climate with the all-time low being negative 50 degrees Celsius. The all-time high was 30 degrees Celsius. This is because we are now on the Finnmark Plateau, which is technically an arctic climate. Kautokaino also has some of the lowest rainfall averages in all of Norway. The temperature and 10,000 lakes makes it a haven for mosquitoes, so the reindeer and people tend to flee to the coast for the summer. So we are almost in the town of Kautokaino, and then that is where we'll finish today's drive. We have arrived in Kautokaino, the final destination for today's drive. So in the village, there is a population of around 1,400. It did have an airport that was built by the Luftwaffe during World War II. It was then rebuilt in 1958. However, the airport is largely unused and the local politicians are trying to have it turned into a regional airport. Otherwise, the closest airport would be in Alta, which is a couple hours away by car. Kautokaino is also predominantly a Sami village, with over 90% of the population speaking a Sami language. A television series called Outlier, Outlier apologies, uh, from 2020 was filmed in this town. So let's make our way to our final stop, which is the Twin Hotel Kautokaino.
So here we are at the final destination for today, which is the Tun Hotel Kautokaino. I really hope you have enjoyed this scenic drive through Finland and Norway, and I highly recommend spending some time in Kautokaino if you're in the area. We spent the afternoon with a local Sami family who taught us things like reindeer herding and snowmobiling. But here is the hotel, we will park our car, and then be sure to watch the next drive where we drive from Kautokaino to Havoisund. Thanks for watching. Thank you.